We're playing around in the build room again today, and I got a 4L60E I'm putting together. So I thought I'd do kind of a short video on pump assembly. Well, I already got the seal out of this one, but we're going to drive that bushing out. Ding! Fries are done. So there we go. There's that. In here. And the pump bushing is not anything specific as far as the way it has to set. So there's no grooves or anything. Boom, that's flush. And then I'll take this one that we used to drive it out. And I'll tap it just a little bit lower and I'll show you in just a second why. And I'll just tap nice and easy. I don't want to go too far. Right there, right on that edge. Perfect. I will clean it up, put this together. Let's pack this seal full of this assembly grease. This way, that spring won't pop out. Here we go, gonna get this pump put together. First thing, let's get it all slathered up. We've got our pump slide here, and I've already kind of thrown some lube on that. This O-ring goes into this groove. It's a little bitty thin O-ring, only one in the kit that'll fit. Then you put this ring right here, right in there drop the slide right in there next take these two pieces that come in your kit a little tiny piece of chewing gum don't eat it and this little rubber o-ring looking piece they go right down into the pump right here so the rubber piece goes in towards the slide and the teflon piece of bubble gum goes towards the body like so. Now once you get in there, now here's a couple of pieces. This is a spring that goes on the bottom of this pivot pin. This is a brand new pivot pin because the one I had was a little bit eat up. Didn't like it. So it drops right here into this hole. Let's zoom in a hair bit here. And then you drop the pin in. It'll kind of be a tad bit of a tight fit, especially with a new pin. Boom, there it is. Now there's that part. Next, we've got our pump rotor, and I've already got this lubed up as well. This is the guide, and this piece goes on right there. And then something else that I have here is a Transgo heavy duty slide spring and the these pump uh, rings so one of them let's lube it up here goes on the bottom like so we'll get it all slathered up and then that piece you flip over, drop down into the pump like so. Now we're going to put our pump veins in. You just kind of start putting them in. If you start them on this side, drop them in those slots, 
if you're reusing them make sure they go in the right way or you will cause problems Then you drop that other pump ring in, right there. Give this a little slathering. Now we got to put the spring in here. It's a pressure regulator spring that goes in right there. A lot of times. You can just man up and shove them in here. Man, sometimes they're stiff. And there you go. That's the main pump body assembled and ready to go. Springs in, we're good. All right. Okay, last part before we get it together. Two halves of the pump have to go together. And the holes are not exactly concentric, but there's two that are real close together right here. And they go right here. We drop it together. In. Get your bolts. Get them all started. Just finger tight there. And I got a pump alignment band right here. And if you don't want to buy one of these, if you're cheap, like I was for years and years, a big hose clamp will do the exact same thing. And then I'll usually just kind of lightly zip them. And then come back in with a torque wrench and torque them. And that's it, pumps together. Last piece on one of these pumps is this retainer. There it is. You just kind of snap it on there. And that's just cheap insurance is all that is. Pump's done.